everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here. Um, I did my last video called "Are you what? Are you a princess?" Um, a lot of this may not be making sense in the way of witchcraft, Wicca, and magic. Um, but like I say, like I have told you, um, fairy tales do incorporate um a lot of magic in them. So. I'm going to read to you today which princess are you and the Sleeping Beauty. Okay. What's your favourite fairy tale? Maybe you have more than one. Maybe you haven't thought about it in such a long time. That you've completely forgotten which story you loved as a child. If so, think about it now. Reread the old tales and rediscover your favourite for this story will have a special meaning for you. And will determine which kind of princess you are. What particular life skill you may be here to learn? Let's take a look at the most popular fairy tales and consider the magical significance to wit to the witch. Beginning with one of the author's most personal favourites, which is Sleeping Beauty. Now, Sleeping Beauty is one of the most popular and well-loved fairy tales. Almost all of our familiar with the story of the beautiful maid and cursed by a wicked fairy and doomed to prick her finger on the enchanted spindle and sleep for a hundred years. Only true love's first kiss has the power to awaken her, and only if this happens at the appropriate time, as beauty lies sleeping on a four-poster bed surrounded by fragrant roses, the rest of the kingdom and the land sleep with her, until the arrival of the prince, when he kiss breaks the spell. In terms of magic, this is a tale about being reborn, and its key word is initiation young beauty goes happily through life until 15th year when she comes across an old lady spinning this old lady is a symbol of the crone or dark mother who presides over her destiny and spins the web of fate thus beauty meets her fate and pricks her finger on the spindle falling into an enchanted sleep this is where her initiation begins but well, she falls asleep as a child and will awaken a young woman, ready for love and the responsibilities of adulthood. If Sloop and Beauty is your favourite fairy tale, your life path will be included from a form of initiation, as that is the lesson you are here to learn. The initiation could be of a spiritual nature, such as the kind taken in witchcraft, or it could be life-changing experience such as motherhood, surviving an illness or injury, or being reborn after or because of a significant relationship in your life. However, this initiation happens, it will be for your highest good and will leave you feeling as if you've just come out of a deep sleep. To attune with your inner sleeping beauty, say the following incantation three times whenever you need her magic. So I'm going to tell you the incantation now. As sleeping beauty does repose, Beneath the fragrant summer rose, so I have lived in sleeping state, but will awake, will but will wake up now and embrace my fate. Initiated I will be into a brand new destiny. And I'll read that again because my pronunciation and reading was terrible. As sleeping beauty does repose beneath the fragrant summer rose, so I have lived in sleeping state, but will wake up now and embrace my fate initiated i will be into a brand new destiny so that is a little bit on sleeping beauty i'll let you know it's um, the next few i've got is cinderella beauty and the beast rapunzel and um, the snow queen little red riding hood a fairy grandmother spell and i've got a few others so i hope you've enjoyed that video um i will try and do a fairy oracle one today um so blessed be everybody and i hope you have a really blessed day and let the fairies into your life